Similar scenes playing out at a Grand Rapids high school for two straight days as police swarm the school after another gun incident. Today, the scene on the right, a student inside the school discovered with a sawed-off shotgun inside his pants and shotgun shells. He was arrested and the school was locked down before being dismissed after 11 a.m. This one day after the scene on the left. A student firing a shot outside the school as classes were letting out. 24 Hour News 8's Ken Colker is at the school and he's live now checking out the security measures in place. Ken? Yes, Brian. The day began today at Crescent High School already with heightened security. A day after a gunman, a student fired a shot into the air. Then this morning, a 10th grader was found in his classroom with a sawed-off shotgun in his pant leg and shotgun shells on him. His intentions not yet clear. They had us a code red right before first hour was going to end, and um, we, if the kids that were in the media center, we could see out the windows, and we could see them putting metal detectors up and police officers. Parents lined up early outside the school and were worried. Some sent text messages to their children. I'm fine. I guess some kid got arrested. A girl got a text from her sister saying a kid brought in a shotgun. As police surrounded the building, 1,000 students were sent home early after they walked out through metal detectors. Principal Ron Gorman said he could not guarantee student safety today. Could I guarantee that today finding a weapon? I could not guarantee it today, uh, but I know that we will have to work as a team to come up with a very comprehensive plan so that these things do not happen or so that these things are limited. Among the safety measures, walk through metal detectors, handheld detectors, and more police and security officers. We're going to use all available technology and all available resources to help us secure our schools. Police were trying to learn if yesterday's shot fired and today's incident were related. Despite the assurances of school officials, some parents and students remain worried about tomorrow. My husband doesn't want to send them to school. He already told me that, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Tonight we're learning more about the uh, two suspects in the case, the uh, shooting last night as well as the incident today. Both are 16-year-olds. Both have long juvenile histories, including auto thefts. We'll continue to follow this uh, more tonight. But for now, in Grand Rapids, Ken Kolker, 24-Hour News 8. Ken, thank you. And after this morning's incident, the district announced several security changes. They include metal detectors at entry points to the school. Public safety officers will be located at the doorways. Students and staff will be required to wear their IDs on lanyards around their neck. Random, unannounced locker searches will be conducted, and the police presence around Creston will be noticeable. A few minutes ago, we spoke with the superintendent of the district, Dr. Bernard Taylor, about what happened. So I think everybody is to be commended for that. Everybody in the school, our security staff, the principal, uh, our, our head of security, everyone did what they were supposed to do. And again, we're going to be hyper vigilant about this. So we're, going to, we're always going to go the extra step because we want to make sure that kids feel safe. And that's Dr. Taylor also said that classes at Creston will go on as scheduled tomorrow, and any parent who wants to accompany their child to school can do so.